In this video, we will look at how we can multiply complex numbers containing the i term. We remember that i, in general, works just like any other variables. There is one small exception that we need to remember as we simplify, is that i squared always equals negative 1. Anytime we have an i squared in our answer, we'll simplify the i squared term by making it into a negative 1 factor. Let's take a look at some examples. In this problem, we're multiplying this together. If this was negative 3x times 6x, we would multiply the numbers and then the variables. Let's do that. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18, and i times i is i squared. The only time i is really different is when we have this i squared factor. We can treat this i squared factor as a factor of negative 1. This is really negative 18 times negative 1, which is now positive 18. Let's take a look at another example where we multiply using i, remembering that i squared is equal to negative 1. In this problem, we've got something in front of parentheses. We've seen this before, we know it means we must distribute. 2i times 5 is 10i, and 2i times negative 2i is negative 4i squared. Again, we see an i squared, and we know that i squared is really a factor of negative 1. What this really says is we're multiplying negative 4 times negative 1, so we have 10i plus 4. You may notice that the i squared ends up ultimately changing the sign on the term it's attached as a factor. We can use this as a shortcut when we're multiplying i's together. Just as before, with two binomials, we can multiply them together using FOIL. 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times negative 5i is negative 20i. Negative 3i times 2 is negative 6i, and negative 3i times negative 5i is positive 15i squared. Notice the i squared, though, will change the positive into a negative. Looking at that in slow motion, we had 15i squared, positive 15i squared, and the i squared was a factor of negative 1. Positive times a negative gave us the negative. Now we can combine like terms. 8 minus 15 is negative 7. Negative 20i minus 6i is negative 26i, and we have our solution. Let's take a look at one more problem where we multiply using i. In this problem, we're squaring a binomial. Recall, this has three parts to the final answer. First, we square the first term. 3 squared is 9. Then we multiply them together twice. 3 times 2i is 6i, and another 6i is positive 12i. Finally, we square the last term. 2 squared is 4. i squared will be a negative 1. The i squared changes the positive 4 into a negative 4. Now, all that's left to do is combine like terms. 9 minus 4 is 5, plus 12i. And this becomes our final solution. Recalling that i works just like any other variable, with the only exception that i squared equals negative 1, we're able to effectively multiply complex numbers just like any other expression before.